Hello everyone, this is Dar Snovia here. I am back with another review, and this time it's on Knights of the Old Republic. And the next story arc I'm reviewing is Knights of Anger. This story arc focuses more on Jareel than the other arcs. Up until this point, she hasn't been the center focus of a story arc in, in this series. Well, in this story arc, she is, you know, pretty, pretty much the, the main focus. Zane is barely featured in this arc, unfortunately, because Zane's awesome. But in exchange, we, we learn a lot about Jareel's species, the name of their of her species, and why, you know, a pure blood of her species looks more human than than she does. That's explained. We also get to mo learn more about, you know, certain things about you know, the, this recurring Mandalorian character that has, you know, been a part of this series, you know, s s for a few arcs now. We learned something about him. What is he? There, He may actually be part of the same species that Jareel is a part of. Maybe that's why his mask is, you know, on. He doesn't take it off. Who knows? Which, it makes me more interested in this character. Who is he? Another thing I find interesting is the villain that's introduced. And I do th can think he's going to be a villain. I mean, he has the looks of one. I find him to be an, a fascinating character. You know, what does he want? And he, his grandfather was a scientist. And we learn a lot of things that we did not know before about this species. And... and I'm actually intrigued. I actually want to know more about this villain that's introduced in this comic. And, well, the art, I think, is as good as always. I mean, come on. I mean, this is, this is like, this current, you know, comic, you know, that I'm reading, the art is pretty much great. I mean... This is what I love about the Dark Horse comics. At least when they really do have good artwork. They really have good artwork. And this is one of the reasons why I'm more interested in reading stuff that isn't related to the films. Because when we see a different art style, it doesn't feel out of place. Like it would if you, you did it in a different era. And this is what I like about this comic. Now... The verdict of this comic, I don't think is as good as the previous story arc, but I do love the world building it does, and I and and setting up future stories in this great comic series that I've been reading so far. I give this a good rating. Anyway, this means I'm officially done with the first volume of this epic collection, and next time I visit. This comic series, I'll finally review Volume 2. Which, what's the next story arc? Well, let's check really quick. The next story arc is D Dells of Hate. I don't know when I'm going to review the next story arc of Knights of the Old Republic, but I will do it. And see you guys next time with another review. This is Darth Snovia. Over and out. May the force be with you. And see you guys next time with another review. Thank you.